Hey, welcome to Evolution of a Horde Base Season 2. My name is Quill, let's get started. For any newcomers, thanks for checking out the channel. I appreciate it. This series is a step-by-step -step guide on building a horde base. Starting with a simple safe room, we've expanded on it each week. First, we added a partial balcony, followed by a second floor safe room. Later on, we tossed in some ramps, and most recently, we added these trap rooms. Since time was short, prior to the last horde, I rigged up a simple electrical system. It worked well enough, so this week we'll be outfitting the rooms with a permanent setup. For this week's docket, we're going to finish up the trap rooms, complete the balcony, and make some small changes to the second floor safe room. If you'd like a breakdown of materials, block shapes, and things like paint textures, check out the description. Let's get to it! Before we set up traps, we'll want to address the second floor safe room. We could use some more storage options, and having extra room to work with wouldn't hurt. On the short walls, let's remove the blocks I've marked and add some crates and a switch. The plan with this change is to have a way to toggle turrets on and off from in here rather than having them run all night. This should make ammo consumption much easier to control. We can seal up the wall by using a mixture of cube 0.25 meter blocks and pole plate half blocks. These other crates were placed a while back, and while keeping them would be fine, I don't really think they're needed anymore. We've got 10 storage crates on the wall, so losing these two won't be a problem. Anyways, I'll rip these out and replace them with cubes before the horde. Doesn't really need to be shown though, so let's move on to the trap rooms. Before we can rig up the traps, we'll want to add a layer of protection underneath the floor. This can easily be done by using cube 0.25 meter blocks on the underside of the trap rooms. Inside each of the rooms, we need to remove three blocks and add three more. Let's take out the three blocks closest to the pole double tops, and then add three against the back wall. Along the interior facing sides, we can line the floor with electrical traps. The majority will be eye level, but the last three will drop down by one row. I wish I could say there was some grand thought out plan for why these traps are ankle height, and those aren't, but uh, yeah, I got nothing. Just like the way it looked, and to me, style is more important than functionality. Let's add some turrets along the walls. Normally, I would be compelled to place a bunch down and just have a haze of freedom seeds for Zeds to walk through, but I think we'll go with something less drastic this time. Three SMG turrets in each room should do the trick. Now for the electrical stuff. In both rooms, I've placed a generator in the corner along with a few engines. The generators only need to power a handful of wire traps and turrets, so two or three engines each should suffice. For power distribution, we'll set up two pathways. The first path will be in an always on state, and will be for our electric wire traps. If the Jenny is on, we want those traps shocking shit no matter what. The second path needs to be toggable between on and off. It'll be for our turrets, and we want to make sure they're off for a majority of the night, so that when they're finally needed, we don't have to worry about whether they have ammo or not. To start, let's place two relays. The first should be near the generator, and the second near the wire traps. Chain them together, and then route power through the wire traps, skipping every other one. We'll repeat the process in the other room, and connect powers to the corresponding skip traps. The reason behind alternating power sources is to provide redundancy. Zeds would need to break into both rooms and destroy both generators in order to take down all the traps. Breaking into one side would hurt, but at least half the traps would remain functional long enough for us to recover or reposition. 
For the second path, we'll add three more relays. One relay on the back wall to keep our wiring clean and to serve as an extra tie-in point, and the other two for the turrets, with one being our pre-switch connection and the other being post-switch. We'll chain power from the generator relay to the tie-in relay, and then to the pre-switch relay, afterwards connecting it to the switch in the safe rooms. Be sure to run power from the switch over to the post switch relay, then tie it into the three turrets. And that's it for wiring. With this system, we have redundant power sources, always on wire traps, and talkable turrets for moments when we need extra firepower. Let's move on to the balcony and wrap up changes for this week. Although the balcony is functionally sound, it looks rather plain in its current state. We'll fix that, but this explanation is going to be a bit different than the others. Normally this is where I'd say what blocks to use, then line up at a starting point, place a few, let the montage take hold, then rinse and repeat ad nauseum for other shapes. Not this time. Instead, I'm taking the lazy way out. These are the shapes I'm using on top of the balcony, the safe room, and the trap rooms. There's nothing special about them, they're just railings and a plate. Using a mixture of those shapes, it's possible to cover the balcony and roofs with a nice top layer. Unlike the other build sequences, I'm not going to say exactly where to place each piece. Instead, I'll have faith that y'all can figure it out. Corner pieces go in corners, railings go in the edges, and plates go in the middle. Leave openings for the ladders, and you should be good. Let me knock this out, and I'll show you what it looks like. That'll conclude this week's expansions. I'm gonna head out to do some late night quests, stock up on ammo, and make a few trader runs. We'll pick this back up before the horde, but in the meantime, here are my unlocked perks and books. Welcome back! We'll face the horde soon, so let's do a quick breakdown of the base and gear. The wire traps are on, and the turrets each have at least a stack and a half of 9mm ammo. They're toggled off for now, and will only be turned on if we need extra firepower, or if I decide to leave the safe room. Besides what was shown earlier in the video, I also upgraded more of the foundation, and should have the rest knocked out next week. There's likely going to be some juicy deadheads downstairs, and if we want to hear a satisfying squelch, we'll need to face them head on. Luckily, I've got a pretty bomb-ass steel club for melee, and multiple options for ranged. Still rocking the same pump shotty, but I did manage to replace the pistol with an SMG. I've also got plenty of 7.62 ready to go, in case we need a rifle. In other news, my game stage is at 157. I think it's high enough to start getting demolishers, but uh, we'll see I guess. I mean, on one hand, I welcome our explosive overlords and the challenge they bring. On the other hand, it's demolishers. Even when I think we're solid, they still seem to find a way to fuck shit up. So yeah, if we don't see them, cool. If we do, oh well. Besides that, I raised the difficulty from Nomad to Warrior and boosted spawns from 12 to 32. Anyways, that's all the prep time we've got. Let's go say hello to our new friends. Here guys, where are y'all at? Ah, looks like a bird will be the first one. Ooh, multiple birds, okay. 
bad. All right, we got a nice little group of them walking up. Great. Ah, oh. <laughs> he went straight to the traps. Awesome. Ah, stealth bird. Not this time. All right, let's go see how these morons are doing. All right, is that fun? It looks fun. Huh. I'm just saying, guys, I love the way this base is working out. It's just fantastic. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> having a uh, having an SMG just adds to my enjoyment. Okay, let's go back downstairs. We don't want this to be a boring night and all that. There's still plenty of time to go. Look at that lovely moon. I mean, guys, check check that shit out. That's awesome. Oh, hey. Okay. Y'all, uh, y'all good? Y'all still gonna attack the base? That's okay. <laughs> I love this gun. Oh yeah, that that's great. That's great. That's definitely higher numbers than before. Let's just jump over him for a second. You don't need that arm. Okay, so they're attacking pillars. That's good. Let's go ahead and use the base again. Come on, guys, this way. All right, I'm up here. What are y'all gonna do? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I love you, morons. Whoa! How did that happen? You just started walking through. Are my trap's still on? Yep, yep, they're still on. Alright, they're on. I probably should have just waited for a zombie to jump up. That's okay. Alright, let's go see if they're hitting stuff. I'm sure they are. I can hear them. Hey, guys! Got a bird. Got a bird. Where's the bird? There's the bird. Bird is neutralized. All right. Woo! That's a lot of them. All right. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Let's thin the herd. By the way, if this is your first time checking out this series, there is something wrong with this base that I, I've got a solution for, but rather than me explaining it, let me just show you what the problem is. So, uh, how did y'all achieve that? I mean, kudos, but, uh... Okay, so we do have a problem with this base, and that is just that zombies like to attack random shit. Specifically, they like to attack the guardrails that I made for those ramps. Now, most people would probably say, yo, just knock the guardrails off. Wouldn't that fix the problem? And yes, yes it would fix the problem, but that's not how I do shit. So, what we will instead be doing, instead of fixing that, is adding a nice little thing right here that solves our problem. But, uh, I probably shouldn't try to explain this in the middle of the horde, because that's just stupid. But... Alright. Let's go back up to the top. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even hear that guy behind me. Alright, so unfortunately with the SMG, I'm definitely going to cut through my ammo a lot sooner than I would like. So let's, uh, let's just hold off for a minute. We'll let these guys get a little closer and take them out with the shotgun. I love my shotgun just as much as the SMG, but, uh... The SMG's a new toy, so I enjoy it just a little bit more. Alright, that's better. One down. Oh, nope. You go. Uh, I seem to still be a little too far away. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, awesome. Oh, wait, I've got explosives somewhere. Uh, this box? No, not that box. This box. Yeah, let's go grab these guys. Thank you. I hear another guy somewhere right there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Let's test the let's test these guys out. <laughs> and turn on the other side. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, this is great. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Okay. Well, they're definitely a little tougher to hit. Not one shot in as many with the steel club, and that's okay. Ooh, run, 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 run. Ooh. Oh shit, there's a demolisher. Okay, we got demolisher. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. I missed that ladder. Didn't miss that one. <laughs> okay, demolisher is here. Let's get him up top. Someone told me that demolishers aren't set off by turrets anymore. I'm very excited to find out if that's true. Let's see, there he is. So I'm not gonna shoot him. We'll uh, come right over here though and make sure that guy, oh, he's gone. Okay, they're shooting him. And he's not getting set off yet. Nice. God, these turds are loud. I can't hear anything. <sighs> All right. It's going beautifully. Oh, you over there spitting at me? Don't you know that's rude? Backwards at a nice brisk pace and zip around. Ooh, hop over. Oh, you motherfucker! Can't spit anymore! <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Okay, let's go ahead and turn these turrets off because, as nice as they are, they are loud as hell. Can you turn off? There we go. Ooh, I'm about to level up. Nice! Okay, don't hit him. Let him get back up here and get shocked by the traps. Wait, where'd the demo go? Hey guys, where's your friend? Where's your uh, guy that can blow up? Okay, let's go find him. Hey man! Demo? Bomber? Where you at? All right, we'll find him. We'll, we'll run into him, I'm sure. Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, man. Thought you were gonna blow up. Glad you didn't. It looks like I took his head off. Nice. Can I, am I just missing this guy every shot? There we go. Okay, so if I die, it's gonna be of my own volition here because I'm just running around on the ground instead of actually using the base. Don't know why I'm calling this evolution of horde base when I'm spending more of the time outside than inside. Okay, let's see. Which one of these? What? What will kill this abrasion? Abrasions. Ooh, first aid bandage. Got one of those. There we go. Nice. And I'm infected. I don't think I have anything for that here. No, it's ammo. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Infection handled. All right, nice. <laughs> All right. One more hour, and then Horde Night will be over. Let's go ahead and repair this gun so we don't have any issues. I'll eat a few, little bit of food. Get some drink in me as well, so we got some bonus effects. Not that they're really needed. And you guys can have that. I don't really drink liquor anymore. Okay, let's go survey the damage to the base. I know they've probably broken a couple blocks by the uh, guardrail, so y'all got, gotta stop me from looking at my own base. That's just rude. Come on, I can take you on. All right, lightning round, let's do this. Okay, so broke a block there, that's okay. This one's kind of close, that's all right. Those are easy enough to repair. Hey, oh shit, you hit me, that's just rude. Come 
Come on, William. You used to be better at cardio than that, man. Oh, hey, you snuck up on me. Nice. Okay, let's just keep going with this. Conga line, guys. Stay lined up. Makes this so much easier. There we go. Oh. Oop. Close. There we go. Got it. Okay. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. That is enough. Okay, let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. Broke a leg. Or an arm. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We got a big base. Just stay in here. Okay. Every time I go outside, I get hurt. And it's my own fault. I can't blame anyone else except myself. <sighs> I always forget that I can get broken bones. I mean, I did rank up parkour just so I don't have to worry about that. But that's for legs. Parkour doesn't help my arms. <sighs> okay. Almost daytime. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Let these guys clear out any stragglers up top. We'll go downstairs, clear them out, and take a look at the base. Hey guys, it's morning. Go the fuck home. Oh, a demolisher. Okay, I got this. I got this. I can do this. I can take him down without setting him off. I'm a grown man. I'm an adult. I can do adult things. Okay, don't blow. Don't blow. Okay, no, no. no. Oh, 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 I did it. I did. Ooh, he dropped a red loot bag. I've never gotten a red loot bag. Is that something special? You don't need that. Oh, come on. The horde just wrapped up. Seriously? Uh -uh. I did. No. Go to sleep. Okay, anyways, red loot bag. That's all I care about at this moment. Okay, ammo. Nice. Okay, so looking at the base, it doesn't look like we took too much damage. Yes, I spent a good portion of it outside on the ground, but honestly, that is a lot more fun than staying inside of this giant bunker. Which really, I shouldn't be saying since I'm trying to get more people to watch this show and watch things that I build, and that just that makes me bored. Anyways, moving on. Looks like we only lost a block here, and that one was kind of close. No, wait, there we go. That's our second block. So we lost two blocks. I couldn't find any more that were broken up here, so that's great. So, yeah, two blocks for a warrior difficulty horde knight with 32 zombies per person. Not bad. I cannot complain. Well, that is another horde down, and another knight successfully survived. <sighs> Dope. I've got a week to play through and some drafts to work on, but before that, I would like to discuss next week's docket. As a horde base, this place is great. As a home base, it's lacking. A few weeks ago, I dropped a poll to see what kind of home base y'all would want. Do we want to go with a small attached living quarters or a large standalone compound down the street? Some chose detached and others chose standalone, but the winner of the poll was option three. What's option three? <sighs> Both. Anyways, that means I've got my work cut out for me. While we'll be doing both options, there will be a caveat. Since this series isn't expected to go much longer, we'll build the attached living quarters first. It's part of the main base and will help round out the rest of the build. As for the standalone base, I figure if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. Rather than mixing directions for it and directions for this base in the same video, the standalone base will get standalone videos. Of course, feel free to leave ideas in the comments for things that should be included. Could be something useful, like a guard tower, or something useless, like a hot tub. I really don't care. I'm open to building anything, functional or not. All it has to do is pique my interest. I can't promise all ideas will make it, but if you got a particularly good one, it'll likely make its way into another build. Anyways, that'll do for now. I'm headed to bed, y'all have a good one, and I'll see you next time. And of course, thank you for watching.
pick up. Right. Nice. Oh well. 